My name is Greg Petrucci. I'm a graduate student in kinesiology, and I also did my undergraduate in kinesiology here at UMass. And let me start off by saying, and really going on the record, and say that before I rave about UMass, five years ago, I did not want to come here. Just, just ask my mother. <laughs> but hopefully this morning, I could take you on my UMass journey and convey to you sort of what's changed and now why I'm excited to stay another five plus years here at UMass. So like I said, during my first year, I did not want to be here. Really, I wanted to transfer out. There was no place in particular I wanted to go, but really anywhere that wasn't UMass. <laughs> Being from Nora, Massachusetts, I thought there were cooler places to go to college that had more exciting academic and community happenings. And I thought my kinesiology major was all right. I was involved with the kinesiology club, but I never really got that jolt of emotion that what I was doing was just totally awesome. And I had no idea what I wanted to be when I grew up. And that's funny because I still have no idea. But I was just going through the motions, taking classes with no real intent or drive during that first year. And things got, they started to change in my second year. I remember I had a conversation with an upperclassman, and she explained to me just how academic departments work. She told me how there are professors, there's research, there's teaching, and there are these students across all different levels. And what I remember most from that conversation was her telling me that academic departments wouldn't work if it weren't for these exceptional students who help professors with their work. I never knew that. Here I was taking classes and thinking that the only, student, the only thing that the students did for their department was show up. I never knew that you could do things like write a textbook chapter with your professor, which is something that I did this summer. Certainly a few years ago, I had no idea about any of these opportunities. So after this pep talk, I felt super empowered. I felt like I was a good student and that I could contribute significantly to some of the, the happenings that were going on in our department. So what did I do? Well, I did what any of us would do, I think. I feverishly wrote this grand email to the department chair, at the time it was Patty Friedson, telling her all about how I had just read her most recent publication in the Journal of Applied Physiology, and I think I remember the title, it was Evaluation of Artificial Neural Network Algorithms for Predicting METs and Activity Type from Accelerometer Data. <laughs> I had no idea what that paper was saying on the first read. I can hardly make it through today and have any idea. But she bought it, and she let me join her lab. <laughs> and for me, this was the turning point, when things finally started to have that jolt of emotion that I was looking for. Here was one of the most established scientists in her area, believing in me and allowing me to join her top rank research team as a sophomore. It totally changed my life. I'm not quite sure what it was that Patty saw in me, but it's led to incredible experiences that have taken me across the world. It's helped build relationships that will last forever. And most of all, it's presented challenges that have expanded my horizons. And at some point throughout all these great experiences, I fell in love with UMass. It's almost like I forgot about that first year and how I originally didn't want to study here. But in reality, I don't think I ever forgot about that first year. What actually happened was I found this incredible community in the kinesiology department, a community which took a chance on me, and a community that's now grown into this exceedingly supportive family-like community. And it's that community that welcomes me as I walk in the door each morning and pats me on the back as I leave after a long night. Sometimes I wish it could drive me home too, but I can't do that. So that's the reason. It's that community that we share, the reason that I've decided to stay and hopefully, I never have to leave. Thank you.